So, during the audit of Dole Fashions PTY Limited, so you're just making a note that they're private, you identified an amount of 4.6 million in trade creditors owed to Silky Sewing PTY Limited. This represents the purchase during August of a machine which manufactures dresses for the different doll ranges. The machine has been installed. Silky Sewing Limited is owned by Barbie, Sibaya and Ken Booth, two of the four directors of doll fashions. So we've got doll fashions and we've got Silky Sewing and we've got four directors. Two of them are Barbie and Ken, and two of them in Silky are Barbie and Ken. And we know that now Silky sold to Doll Fashions, so directors have an interest. And neither of them are shareholders of Doll Fashion, doesn't matter. The purchase documentation, e.g. purchase order, delivery notes, invoice, and entries in the records, is all correct. 4.6 million is the fair price for these machines. Required. Do you have any further responsibilities arising out of this transaction? Yes. You have got to follow the requirements of Section 75, where you've got to disclose the interest, can't vote, or these two have to disclose the interest, they can't vote, they need to leave the meeting, they can't initiate any documentation or represent the company through any documentation, and so on. Okay, and you can just put it all down there. They also just note that in terms of Section 76, the directors have to communicate any information that comes to their attention and so in exercising their rights of good faith and in the best interest of the company they should be disclosing. So you can add the two parts, section 75 and 76.